Hi everyone, welcome along to today's video. Another quick one, this one on the isolation valves, these little beauties here now. If you are going to get isolation valves and you don't want the lovely full bore wave valves, which are best, and I will show you a picture of one of those now. Okay, so you don't like the look of them, I know, but you can take the handle off, they look a lot better then. But no, if you're determined you're going to use these, that is okay. But do bear in mind, they haven't got longevity. You must buy high quality ones like Pegler or someone to last the course. But another thing, I think, is to get one with the little handle on it like this. So at least you can turn it every so often and keep it free. Because a lot of the times what goes wrong with these is not just the little rubber washer wearing out inside uh, that causes the leaks but also the fact that they're not used so when you finally go to use it the little seal breaks and it starts to leak there on afterwards when you go to finally use it say four or five years down the line after it's been fitted and also if I show you one here this is the general on a flexi don't buy flexes with the isolation valve on here okay get just a straight flexi if you need to use one and buy the isolation valve separately and then you can get a good one so these these with the screw you know <laughs> they really are nasty the screw usually doesn't turn i've seen these bird out where people have tried to get these screwed off they usually leak from this seal here when they've been turned and they're very old you can't get the screwdriver in there to turn it properly anyway sometimes they're fitted badly where you can't get access and also even if you can you want to get under a wash basin for instance and turn one of these things with a screwdriver every couple of months three months yeah nobody <laughs> that's right so you get this problem with them and of course with the full way valve and a nice big lever very easy to turn on and off okay a doddle <laughs> um, but that's just my take on it uh, you do as you see fit no, it's just a bit of advice from a plumber that's been around for a few years now okay that's about it though all my stuff you know where to go the usual place Darren very free thanks for watching guys bye bye